and girls, what's up? It's Dezo, and welcome back to another video. If you saw my latest video, I used HitFilm Express to make a basic intro sequence to start your videos. So today I'm going to be showing you how to edit professionally in HitFilm. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to help the channel grow, and follow me on Twitter while you're at it as I am starting to use Twitter a lot more again. And comment down below what you want to see next. Other than that, let's get on with the video. So HitFilm is a great free editing software that I'm going to be using today. I will leave a link to the downloads page, but I have to say the downloading process does take up to 5 minutes because you have to verify that you are using the correct email and such. So once you have downloaded, I will meet you back in HitFilm. So the first thing I do to make sure that my videos look clean and professional is to click new on the home page. Then I make sure that my project is set to 1920 by 1080 pixels and 60 frames per second. This will make your videos much more clean and professional, but if your computer can't handle these settings, turn them down to 1280 by 720 pixels with 30 frames per second. This won't look bad, but majority of the videos you watch will be in 1920 by 1080 pixels and 60 frames per second. So once you have figured out what settings you want your video to be and you've started your project, you want to put some videos on the timeline. What I like to do is put my background gameplay first and dip it from black so that it has a really smooth start to the video. I then like to add blur to the gameplay and add my intro sequence from the last video on top of the blurred gameplay, which will have a really cool effect onto your video. And it will look really cool. Then I like to add music to my videos. If you haven't noticed in all my videos, I use music from this guy Joakim Karud, I really hope I said his name correctly, who makes awesome chill music to put in the background. Once I have got the music onto the timeline, I like to wait until there is a little bass drop so I can lower the volume and start talking. If that doesn't make sense, rewatch the first 25 seconds of this video, and that is where it is shown. Now, after these tips, it is mainly up to you and is very dependent on your own video idea. But I will still be going over more tips to make sure that your videos are more professional. So once you have done the intro part, which is crucial as it is the first thing that your audience sees when they click on your video, you're going to want to add lots of pictures when there is a more important moment or just anything that is worthy of a picture. This will make your videos way more entertaining as there will be so much more happening throughout your video. The best way to add pictures would probably be just to add a sliding transition so it looks very clean when it comes in. Using a transition effect will also make it less choppy when it is shown on the screen. The way I usually do this is by going into the effects tab on HitFilm and I really like the slide effect so I use that a lot. Then you drag the effect to the start of the picture so that it does come in from the side. I then increase the motion blur from 25 to 50 like I did in the last video and then I blur the gameplay in the background so that it does focus in on the picture and not the gameplay. Just like I did in the last video. So the second tip is to make your videos different from other people. Before you click off this video for saying what every person says, just listen. Being unique does not mean you have to be completely different in terms of, of what you are doing. You can edit in the same way that PewDiePie does, or Jake Paul does, or whoever you watch the most. Just make yours slightly different to theirs, instead of using a quick cut or a long transition, you can use a fast transition and slightly different stuff so that does not look like you are copying them. This is super important because people will know that you are copying the person's editing style, and why would someone want to watch something that they could already watch in better quality? The last tip is to color correct. Color correcting and color grading are so important when editing. If you watch a vlogger or gamer and think, why is their gameplay so colorful compared to mine? Or why does their camera make everything so much more colorful? It is probably because they color correct. People often increase the saturation, exposure, contrast, and more to make their videos look better. The way you do basic color correcting in HitFilm is by going into the color grading tab in effects and going through each of the free ones to see which one you like best. My favorite right now is the hue shift because you can increase the saturation a lot, but not too much to the point where it looks like you have just made a heat map. The way you know if it's free or not is just by seeing if there's a blue bubble next to it saying add on. If it says that, you will need to pay for that effect. The reason I left this tip up to the last is because color correcting and color grading uses a lot of your computer's resources. Now the last thing I want to talk about is your outro. I personally use outro cards and just put my logo on top, but I am thinking of making myself an actual outro soon. What I do for my outro right now 
is pretty much just the complete opposite of my intro, as I increase the volume of the music at the end instead of decrease the volume. This makes a very calm ending to my videos. What I do to completely finish off the video is add a dip to black so that it does go out smoothly. And for the audio, I fade it so that it does not end off at a weird time. Both of these effects are found in the effects tab under video transitions or audio transitions. I think that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy and you did learn something, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow because all help is appreciated and follow me on Twitter while you're at it as I am starting to post on Twitter again. And if you do have any questions, just leave a comment and I will be sure to reply. Other than that, I will catch you in the next one.